He can't even move on my phone. It doesn't want record. It's all fucked up. My my technology is currently being attacked. You know, we'll put with the video what they do in space. But they make simulators of of uh, telescopes, and uh, this is all cameras. They're doing this to us. They observe us, and then they show us ourselves back from space. They observe our our body, and then reduce the resolution and then uh, it's just you it's your experiencing yourself experiencing yourself now this town what this town does this town's sort of fucked up where we live here in this wonderful time that we're in these people here are so robotic and it's like they're on a conveyor belt it almost is. They're scripted, how they show up, how they arrive. And if they can't get them afraid of the, um, the virus, if they can't get you afraid of the virus, the number two is they get you hating on each other. The people that are randomly come over here, and I like who brings them, because it's always the same piece of shit asshole that was brought by some other piece of shit that picks up the, the, the train of of shit and you know if you're not gonna have enough time to have any friends or genuine people you first you need to learn yourself number one find out who you are and then radiate out from there so these people you can tell by this shit they infer they're haters they're hating on you and then they're, they're gonna bring some uh, tragedy upon you because you either have something or you're in a position that they would they want to be in yeah now how's that when they don't even really know your position ah it's because people running watch what this guy says top end of the telescope has those white rings uh, and before we took the, the camera down to Chile, it's, it's a remote mountaintop. Uh, we needed to do a complex operation to install it. They hadn't actually removed the top end of the telescope in many decades. And so here at Fairview Lab, uh, we decided to build a replica of the top end of the telescope. We call it a telescope simulator. So these white rings here uh, have the same diameter as the rings at the top end of the telescope. Uh, but this big telescope simulator was out uh, in one of the laboratories here on site, just a couple of miles away. And so we were able to put the camera together here, mount it on this telescope simulator, uh, understand how to mount it and uh, uh, how it would work under various orientations. And that proved enormously beneficial uh, when we went down to, to Chile to install it. Uh, it has, as I mentioned, five lenses. On the upper right, it's the biggest of the five lenses. It's nearly a meter across, uh, so quite large optics, very precisely shaped. Uh, and then once the light goes through those, those five lenses, before it hits the digital camera focal plane itself, it goes through a filter. Uh, and we operate with five different filters at different times uh, that let in either blue light or sort of mid-range optical light or near infrared light. Uh, and these are very large optical filters, some of the largest ever built for astronomy. Uh, and the remarkable story here is that these filters, uh, they, they are very difficult to manufacture. Uh, and they were made by this company in Japan uh, just a few months after the uh, tsunami of 2011 devastated the country. So a remarkable, a remarkable feat. Uh, so this is what an actual raw image from the camera looks like. So you know when you take, if you have a nice digital SLR, those are different formats, JPEG, whatever, raw. Uh, so we, we only use the raw mode here. We don't, uh, we don't make these other modes in the camera. Uh, and so this is what a raw image looks like. It's got, and so each of these is, uh, is a hard couple device detector, 2,000 by 4,000 pixels. Uh, and uh, we mosaic them together to make the focus. Uh, and so you can see, uh, you know, galaxies, stars in our own galaxies, various sorts of artifacts. So a lot of work goes into 
cleaning those images of artifacts so that we can use them for Islam. Cleaning those images of artifacts. Images we took. So what are they uh, saying? The night of September 12, 2012, of a nearby cluster of galaxies, the Fornax cluster. Uh, and you can see these little uh, black, uh, blackened areas. Those are the uh, divisions between those different charged couple device detectors and the focal plane. If I just zoom in on one of those PCBs and blow it up, it shows you one of the most prominent galaxies in the Fornax cluster, NGC 1365. Musical spiral galaxy. Uh, so this camera has uh, one of the features uh, that enables us to make this very large survey is that it covers a very wide field of view on the